Actually, there was nothing wrong with me. Every morning, I used to go for exercise. Then one morning, my son asked me to go for a checkup. I see anything wrong with me. I said, OK. Then I went to see Dr. Lim Tai Tian. I failed my treadmill. So he told me there must be some blockage. Asked me to go for a CT scan. Went for the CT scan and he failed the CT scan. And that's when he asked me, he told me to go along with him to do the angiogram. I wanted to go and see the, how it is. During the angiogram, uh, Dr. Lim told us to go in to see the blockage and he pointed out where are the blockage. He had to go for a bypass. But my dad was very fearful of it, so he was uh, rejecting it. Initially, I was quite reluctant. I tell him I'm not interested in bypass actually. Open heart, i a bit worried, a bit concerned. So, is there any alternative? He told me, yeah, there's a, a new technology called keyhole bypass. I didn't know about the keyhole bypass, actually, until Professor Kofidis came to the picture. So I went to read up on Dr. Kofidis, and I find that he has a lot of uh, write-ups, theses about minimally invasive. In fact, he was in the news a couple of years ago about this uh, operation. I thought it was quite renowned, and I recommend my dad to go ahead with this doctor. Experience with doctor, I find that they are wonderful, actually. I said, is there any risk in this operation? He said, don't worry, 1% risk. But can I assure you, nothing will happen if you work here. He said, unless I have I'm watching that 1%, but the chance is very, very slim. On 6th of May morning, 7.30 a.m., I was pushed to the operation theatre. There was no pain at all. I slept. The next morning, I felt the pain. I took pain, so I gave the painkiller. The second day, I was able to walk inside the ICU ward. Then on the fifth day, he asked me to climb the staircase. The recovery was very, very fast. I was quite surprised also, actually. Professor Kofidis came to my ward. And I said, Mr. Chua, you look fit, it's okay. Tomorrow, I'll discharge you. So I was in hospital for about five, six days. On the Saturday, I was discharged. I'm very fortunate you know, to know this uh, Professor Kofidis. I started the exercising again after three months, and I do all the quite strenuous exercise. Nothing wrong, actually. I was quite, quite happy about it. <laughs>